Hi, I'm Emily, educator for the Potter County Conservation District. We have been working on two videos to promote why beavers are so significant and important in our ecosystem, and this is the first of those two. So be sure to tune in afterwards to Jared's video on landscape and water quality benefits that beavers can provide for us. Although many people tend to consider the beaver a nuisance animal, it is really one of the most irreplaceable in North America. Their work creates such rich watery habitats for other mammals, fish, turtles, frogs, birds, ducks, and more. And we now know that beaver damming provides essential natural services to people too. Beavers prefer to dam streams in shallow valleys where the flooded area becomes productive wetlands. These cradles of life support biodiversity that rivals even tropical rainforests, if you can believe it. And almost half of endangered and threatened species in North America rely upon these wetlands heavily. Like all rodents, beavers' teeth continuously grow and grow, which means they need to chew to shear them down. They have an ungainly waddle on land, but they're pretty graceful in the water. They use large webbed rear feet to swim and their scaly flat paddle shaped tail like their rudder. And these, these attributes allow beavers to swim at speeds up to five miles an hour in the water. They can actually stay underwater for up to 15 minutes without surfacing. And they have a set of transparent eyelids that function much like a pair of goggles underwater. Their fur is naturally oily and waterproof. Beavers are known to mate for life. Each spring, they might have one to four babies called kits. And on average, a full grown beaver reaches about 40 pounds. This leads us to some of the beaver's favorite foods, which include the tubers of water lilies, apples and leaves and green bark, uh, the inner bark from aspens and other fast growing trees. Tree cutting is also part of nature's cycle and beaver pruning simulates willows, cottonwoods, aspens, and more to regrow bushier than ever the following spring. So here we are really close down to the beaver lodge. They use their lodge, of course, to store food. They also live in the lodge, they'll sleep there. And what a lot of people don't realize is that inside there is a really nice roomy dry area. So they might come in, dry off for a little bit, and then there might be even a second chamber for them to stay extra warm and, and snugly in inside that big lodge. Typical beaver lodges are also pretty unique in that they usually only have underwater entrances. And that not only serves the beavers to keep food safe and keep themselves dry and warm, but it keeps them protected from predators, being that very few predators of beavers are going to be able to go underwater up into their lodge. Pretty close to the lodge here, we found some pretty fresh willows that have been chewed down. And the beavers have strategically left these for a while to allow these nice new green tender shoots to come up. This is known as coppice growth. So basically broadleaf plants, shrubs, deciduous trees, when they're uh, shorn down like this, they're going to try their best to put out these shoots to continue living. But this serves the beaver really well as a nice, easy, low to the ground, tender food source. So I've just moved about 30 feet down from where our beaver lodge is and I'm here at the main portion of the close by beaver dam that's of course holding back all of this water and creating the habitat that the beavers need to survive. They're also creating habitat uh, in this area for a lot of other animals and plants. So overall they are increasing biodiversity tenfold more so than any other mammal in North America is capable. All too often, a human response is to work against nature instead of working with nature. Beavers are just one of a few examples of this unfortunate truth. Beavers reliably and economically maintain wetlands, and wetlands are super important because they act to sponge up floodwaters, alleviate droughts and floods, lessen erosion, raise the water table, and they act as Earth's kidneys to actually purify and filter water. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.